hello to everybody in this video we are going to be looking at the solution of june 2021 pure mathematics with, with mechanics question number three so i will display the question and later solve the question the question reads a uniform rod ab of mass 2m kilogram and length 4a meters is smoothly hinged at a point on the vertical wall it is supported in a horizontal position by a light inextensible string attached to the rod at the point C where the distance CB is equal to A. The other end of the string is attached to the point Z on the vertical wall with Z above A such that the string makes an angle of 60 degrees with the wall. A load of mass m kilogram is placed at the point B and the system is in equilibrium. A. Show that the tension in the string is 16 on 3 mg, 7 max. B. Find in terms of m and g the vertical and the horizontal components of the reaction force at the hinge, 4 max. And finally C. Determine to one decimal place the angle which the reaction force makes with the rod, 2 max. So um, I would like you to pause the video, try the equation on your own, and then come back to see the solution to the various sub parts of the equation. Okay, let's move on to the to the solution. So I will display the equation so that we try to come out with our diagram together after reading the equation. So firstly, we we have a uniform rod which is AB. It is attached to a wall it is smoothly hinged at a point on a vertical wall so definitely if it is a b then it is hinged at the point a to the vertical wall now it is supported in the horizontal position by a light and extensible string that is attached to the rod at the point c where the distance from b to c is a meters now the other end of the string is attached to the point Z on the vertical wall, that's the point Z which has been indicated, where Z is above A. So perfectly, we have seen that this is how the diagram is supposed to look like. Now, um, we have something else. The string makes an angle of 60 degrees with the wall. So it means that it's going to make an angle of 30 degrees with the rod. Now, a load of mass M kilograms, so um, before indicating the load we know that is a string so there is going to be tension now the tension is going to be resolved into two components the vertical component which is ty and the horizontal component which is tx now the weight of the rod always acts at the center so we have 2 mg since the mass of the rod is 2 m now at the point b a mass of m kilogram was placed so the weight of that mass is mg now let's try to indicate the various distances but remember we have a reaction force at the hinge a so we can resolve into two components the vertical component representing small a and the horizontal component re representing small b next we can try to indicate the distances remember the weight act at the center of the rod the rod is 4a means that the distance from 1n2 the center will be 2a now since the distance from c to b is a it definitely means that the distance from the center of the rod to the point c is also going to give us a now let's try to look for the components of the of the tension vertically and horizontally all right so that's it so we have the angle 30 degrees that the the tension or the string sorry makes with the rod makes an angle of 30 degrees okay now we can use um, a suitable trigonometry ratio to find the various reactions the vertical and the horizontal component so cosine of 30 degrees is equal to we know cosine of an angle is the adjacent of that angle on the hypotenuse so we have the adjacent which is c of x divided by the hypotenuse which is t so from there we can find c of x as c cosine of 30 degrees 
Now let's see how we can find T of Y which is a vertical component. We can now use the sine of 30 degrees. So the sine of 30 degrees is equal to T of Y which is um, the opposite T of Y. This is equivalent to this. The opposite divided by the hypotenuse which is T. So our T of Y is simply T, the sine of 30 degrees. Okay. So that's it indicated in our diagram. Now let's proceed to solving the first question. Question A. Show that the tension in the string is 13 on 3 mg and it is allocated for 7 marks. Okay, so this is our diagram that has been given. Now we're being told that this system is in equilibrium. Now what does it mean for the system to be in equilibrium? First point. The clockwise and the anti-clockwise moment at a point are always the same. Second point, the algebraic sum of the forces is null. So we are going to apply these two conditions. But for the first case, we are just going to apply the first condition. So let's see how it goes. So taking moments about the hinge, which is A, about the point A. Now we, we first of all need to choose our reference frame. So we take that the upward direction for the forces. All forces pointing in the upward direction are positive and to the right are also positive. Now for moments, if we are considering uh, moments in this direction, that is clockwise moment, we take we consider this direction to be positive. Therefore, the reverse, which is anti-clockwise, is going to be negative. So if we take moments about the point A, that is the hinge, remember the moment of a force is simply the force times its perpendicular distance from that point. So, the moment of a force about a point is the force times its perpendicular distance from that point. So, taking moments about the point A, we have two moments. We have the two types, which is the clockwise moments and the anti-clockwise moments. So, we begin with the clockwise moments, and remember, we are summing these clockwise moments because we have many forces involved so clockwise moment it means that there are forces that are making the rod or the system to go in this direction so in this direction like it is indicated here so um the first force is going to be the force a which is acting at the point a so the force small a acting at the point at the hinge where we are taking our moment so its perpendicular distance will be zero definitely there is no distance because it is acting at that point so we have a times zero now next we have 2 mg which is this guy because it causes this guy to go like this so you have 2 mg now its perpendicular distance from this point is simply this horizontal distance because this distance makes an angle of 90 degrees with the force that is the weight so we have 2 mg times its perpendicular distance from the hinge and the perpendicular distance is 2a now we proceed with mg times its own perpendicular distance now this is mg it is acting at one end of the road and we are taking the moment of this force about this end of the road so its perpendicular distance is simply the length of the rod or definitely a plus a plus 2a which is 4a as indicated so plus now we have um c cosine of 30 degrees because it is going to come like this so coming this way is going to reverse so it is clockwise moment so we see c cosine of 30 degrees what is its perpendicular distance from this point is simply zero because it is acting along if i draw a line along this point i see that this guy is acting along meaning it is parallel so it has no perpendicular distance so the distance is zero so doing all of this you are going to heal 8 mg because this will give us zero now this will give us 4 mg this will give us 4 mg adding we have 8 mg definitely this is going to give us zero now what about the sum of the anti-clockwise moments remember this is our reference frame this so if we are taking this as our clockwise moment it means that the reverse that is 
this other way is going to be the anti-clockwise moment so it's going to take all the four all the moments in that direction are going to be negative so we have um you have this guy t sine 30 degrees you see it is causing the beam to like go in this direction all right so we have first is negative b remember um it is anti-clockwise moment and b is going towards this direction meaning b is positive but since it is anti-clockwise moment with um, the directional this sign becomes negative so we have negative b times its perpendicular distance from this point and the perpendicular distance is zero we can simply see that there is no distance because b is acting on at the point okay now the next is going to be t sine 30 but it is anti-clockwise meaning it is negative remember that the force is positive because it is pointing upwards as our reference frame says so just t sine 30 degrees which is a force is positive but since it is causing an anti-clockwise moment we now indicate the negative due to our reference frame anti-clockwise moment are going to take the negative sign so we have negative t sine of 30 degrees now its perpendicular distance is simply this distance the distance from c right up to a which is 2a plus a so we have 3a so doing that we have this is going to give us zero this will give us negative 3a t sine of 30 degrees now we know what sine of 30 degrees is is one half so we have all of this to be negative 3 c on 2 mga now at equilibrium we have the first condition which says that the clockwise moment and the anti-clockwise moment at a point are the same it therefore means mathematically that the sum of moments the algebraic sum of moments about a point is equal to zero now our point is a so the algebraic meaning that we should include the sign of that moment so the algebraic sum of the moments at the point a will be equal to zero meaning the sum of the clockwise moments and the anti-clockwise moments will be will be null for sure so with that said we have that 8 mga which is the sum of the clockwise moment plus negative 3 t on 2 mga which is um i'm um, sorry there is no um i think there is a little error here so make sure you correct it in this place you don't have m so as you can see here so it's definitely a mistake when i was typing the solution so here we don't have m all right so we have negative theory on 2 a that's this guy plus this guy remember it's the algebraic sum that's why i'm including the, the negative sign here It'll be equal to zero this therefore means that 8 mg is equal to 3 2 3 t on 2 because the a's are going to cancel because a is different from zero it is a length and the length cannot be zero okay so from there we can conclude that our t which is the tension is equal to 16 on 3 mg which is what we're required to prove all right second part find in terms of m and g the vertical and the horizontal components of the reaction force at the hinge for max so the vertical and the horizontal components of the reaction force at the hinge meaning that we are finding what the vertical and the horizontal component of the reaction force at the hinge a so we are finding the force small a and the force small b simply we use the second condition for a system to be in equilibrium the algebraic sum of forces is zero meaning we sum the forces considering their directions now we are just involved with so we first of all begin with the vertical which is in the y direction so sum of forces the, al the algebraic sum of forces in the y direction equal to zero means that we now pick all the forces in the y direction all the forces going up are positive therefore going down will be negative going to the left that's with the x direction we are going to come to that 
all right so going up we have a we have next which is going up t sine 30 that's all now going down we have 2 mg and uh, mg so it means that our a is simply equal to 3 mg minus t sine 30 but t is 16 mg on 3 as we have seen here and sine of 30 is half so simplifying we have a to be equal to mg on 3 now let's take the horizontal direction we have the sum of forces in the x direction equal to zero now in the x direction we have only two forces we have the force b which is the horizontal component of the reaction force at the hinge and we have c the cosine of 30 which is the horizontal component of the tension in the string all right so by so doing it means our b which is positive is simply equal to what our t cosine of 30 degrees therefore meaning that our b is equal to 8 root 3 on 3 mg remember our t is 16 on 3 mg and the cosine of 30 is root 3 on 3 so simplifying we have this so with that said we have found the vertical and the horizontal components of the reaction force at the hinge and the equation was allocated for four marks Okay, let's move on to the last part of the equation, which says, determine to one decimal place the angle which the reaction force makes with the rod, which is 2 marks. So we just still consider this our diagram. Now, the angle that the reaction force makes with the rod, we try to indicate it. Now, we had the reaction, the vertical and the horizontal component of our reaction force. Those are their numerical values in terms of mg. Now, um, we have this we try to indicate what is actually happening. So vertically the vertical component is a The horizontal component is B. That's a reaction force. We can call it F Now we are finding the angle that the reaction force makes with the rod meaning that we are finding the angle theta So um, this force going down is simply the same as a So that is a rod a B. So theta is the angle that the reaction force makes with the rod so we can use the best trigonometry ratio to find the angle theta. Since we have the adjacent and we have the opposite to this angle, we can therefore use the tangent of theta. So the tangent of theta is simply equal to what? The opposite, which is A, divided by the adjacent. So it means the tangent of theta is our A is mg on 3 and our B is 8 to 3 on 3 mg. So simplifying, we get that the mg's are going to cancel. The one third here is going to cancel the one third here. So we are simply left with the tangent of theta is equal to one on root three. But remember, we are finding the angle, not the tangent of the angle, meaning that our theta is equal to tan inverse of one over eight root three. So that's it. So your assignment is actually to compute this value and put your answer to one decimal place always read the instruction determine to one decimal place meaning when you compute this value your your final answer should be in one decimal place so that was that about the video i hope you you loved the video if definitely you love the video please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet also turn on your post notifications so that whenever a video is being posted you'll be one of the first persons to view the video and zero to like the video and share to your friends who are taking the discipline um pure mathematics with mechanics in the advanced level thank you so much for your time and see you later